all doing well welcome welcome to my channel thank you for being here i am towards the end of my day today and i came home from running errands since morning till late afternoon now and um you saw my reveal of the never full gm size and monogram and um i decided now towards the end of the video like towards the end of the day the end of the video um that i will show you how this bag looks how i feel i used it now for like over a week i bought it earlier but uh, not a week ago but i bought it a while back but I just started using it and I first thought I want to use it as travel bag or work bag but um, it's becoming an everyday bag for me despite being so big and since most of the videos on YouTube are about the GM size never full as a work bag or travel bag and I started using it as an everyday bag I decided to say a few words about it, how I feel about it, how it works for me and what I think. And um, the good girl is here. And um, like I said, I was running errands. I was wearing it the last week, sometimes full on out, sometimes um, cinched in like you saw it now and both ways even full on out was not a problem and i first thought this could be a good travel bag for me but i'm realizing this will be an everyday bag for me if i would go on a road trip or um, something or a train trip or something like that this might be a travel bag for me but um for me, even the MM size gets too heavy and I do not want to run around the airport with a bag like this, carrying it through immigration, baggage claim and and and. I wouldn't do that. This, I don't think this will be an airport bag for me. I did fly previously with the Speedy 30 and that's amazing. I will make a separate video about that bag as a travel bag, but um, I don't think the Neverfull MM or GM or whatever will ever be an airport travel bag for me. And um, also not necessarily a work bag, definitely not the monogram as a work bag. I prefer different bags which are a little bit more understated and I'm having a video coming up shortly where I show you what bag I love to use for official appointments or for work and um, this bag holds a lot of course but when I use it as an everyday bag and now I'm till so when I use this bag as an everyday bag I put in my uh, toiletry 26 as a catch-all and I love that I finally can use it in a bag properly and um, I went to Louis Vuitton and um, got something actually I was gifted something and it arrived today when I was I was actually driving out of my driveway the UPS driver came and handed this to me so i did stuck it into my bag i opened it checked it stuck it in my bag so that's why this is in my bag then i got some information that also fit in my bag i have the pouch here attached and in the pouch i only have um, some masks and some headphones that's all that i'm carrying right now in the pouch although i use the pouch for a lot of different things as well then i bought some cards i have an extra bag in here because the weather is very very rain sun rain sun rain sun so i keep a big plastic bag in my bag i have my agenda pm and my wallet and um, I show you now how empty and my son's sunglasses and when I go out of the house before things start happening I only have 
these things here. Even in here. Just these things I was running around with this week. And um, I can care. I will give you more shots in a minute, but uh, it's it's it gets very heavy very fast and ever full. Also, it's a very light bag. So um, when I start with this, I like to cinch it in. And I have an organizer. I really, really realizing I do not like organizers in most of my Louis Vuitton bags. I don't use my organizers just for storage. So now I show you how. So this is how it looks cinched in. And now I show you all out. This is all out. And um, I love to wear it both ways. I was even all out at Whole Foods, grocery shopping and everything. No problem at all. I also did. I thought I would bump a lot into people with this, but it was fine. And what I love about this, when you run errands or have things to pick up or collect, then um, you have so much space to just drop stuff in here. Like on the day you can just um, go ahead and drop your stuff and it's also not a problem to put your laptop in here wait a second laptop so if i wanted to i could put my laptop in here easily too laptop is in here it is very heavy now very heavy but to carry it somewhere to a Starbucks where you decide to work for the day on your laptop, that's fine. But um, laptop definitely fits. And this is a 17 inch laptop. So that fits, not 17, 15, 15 inch laptop. That fits. And um, yeah, this, the GM size is truly a never full. The MM size gets full with me pretty quickly actually over the day and um, yeah i wanted to show you this quickly to um, finish up the video and you might ask reshmi you love colors you always go for colors um why didn't you buy this in the p1 color i didn't buy this in the p1 color number one because i have the graceful mm with the p1 lining and secondly, you know I want the Made in France item. I looked for the P1 Made in France for a year nearly, nearly a year. And then I crossed this beige one, Made in France, beautiful, perfect. And I went in my head through my collection and I thought, okay, you have to praise full in the P1 monogram. You don't need another P1 monogram. So get this one. And at first, the first 30 days, like I said, I bought this a while ago. Um, the first 30 days I didn't use it. I didn't touch it because I really was not sure if I liked the beige. But I love it. It matches everything. It you can take it anywhere you want. I have the red MCM in the large size and I sometimes am really hesitant to take it to places because it's such a highlight. And this is already a huge monogram bag. So I decided I love the beige, I keep the beige and I kept it and I'm very, very happy with it. And um, like I said, I will soon make a work bag video, a work official day video, a bag video. You can tell it's the end of the day and um, show you which, which bag I love for that. And I'm warning you, I went tote crazy. You remember, I was always a tote person, but then I was a crossbody person. And now I'm again back to the totes. You know, I bought the two coach totes, the purple one, the green one. I bought the Neverfull MM in a band. Now I bought this one and I bought before the price increase also a few other totes from Louis Vuitton, which I, and bags also, which I did not get around yet to show. 
but I will. So please, 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 if you are interested in bags and, and you know, everything related to bags, then please leave me a subscription. Just subscribe, hit the like button and the bell icon, and then you will be notified whenever I upload again. And I would love, love, love to have you in my group of bag lovers. And um, this is the bag. So I hope you're all safe and healthy, and I wish you all a wonderful evening ahead. And I hope you I hope you will return and I see you in the next one. Leave me a comment if I forgot something, if you want to know anything else about the Neverfull GM. I mean there are gazillion, gazillion videos. I was that I think that's why it's taking me so long to make these Neverfull videos or toad videos because there are so many of them on YouTube already. But then again i think everybody has a different view or perception or where so it makes sense um that i upload another one too so i see you in the next one bye bye <music>